Prince Harry has spent millions renovating a 21-room apartment in Kensington Palace for his new bride Meghan Markle, but that doesn't mean the Duke of Sussex wants to rent one out. The 34-year-old royal has refused to rent a room out to mother-in-law Doria Ragland, Life and Style reports. The 62-year-old yoga instructor quit her job at a mental health clinic in Los Angeles before the royal wedding and now plans to move across the pond to be closer to her daughter. Harry doesn't mind Meghan's mum staying with them for a couple of weeks until she finds a place of her own, but only as a short-term solution, a palace insider tells the publication. Harry adores Doria and is happy that she's moving to London to keep Meghan company but the idea of them all living under the same roof is just too much to take on. The source adds, Meghan and Harry are looking to purchase a townhouse in London for Doria, says the insider, so that they can have their own space. Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, will be venturing to the UK more often, and will soon be getting her own residence in London, particularly if grandchildren come along according to a source. Ems Ragland has been making a series of trips to the UK to visit Meghan, and now wants to get her own place so she can spend more time with the Duchess of Sussex. The mother and daughter reportedly speak on the phone pretty much every day. Meghan's mother wants to be there more often for her daughter, particularly if grandchildren come along, according to a royal source. The royal source told Vanity Fair, Doria is very close to her daughter and she has made several secret trips to England. They speak on the phone pretty much every day and they are talking about Doria getting a place in the UK so that she can spend part of the year over here. I think the idea is that Doria will have a pied-a-terre here so that she has her own space. She wants the ability to be here more often, especially if grandchildren come along. Ms Ragland, 62 surprised guests when she made an appearance at Meghan's cookbook launch in Kensington Palace on Thursday. Meghan, husband Prince Harry and Ms Ragland were pictured mingling and greeting guests at the Together, Our Community Cookbook reception, the Duchess' first solo royal event. Ms Ragland looked sophisticated in a beige trouser suit outfit with a pashmina shawl over her shoulders, finishing her look off with a pair of Stuart Weitzman heels. Megan stunned in a black knitted shirt from tux and pleated skirt from Mishianonu, topping her outfit with a blue Smythe coat. The event was held to help raise funds for the Hub Community Kitchen, dedicated to helping victims of the Grenfell Fire. The Duchess of Sussex was first inspired by the women after making a trip to the kitchen in January, where Ms Ragland said Megan felt very much at home. She decided to help publish a cookbook featuring the women's recipes ranging from European, Middle Eastern, Asian and African dishes, to help raise funds to run the kitchen. The Duchess wrote the foreword to the Together, Our Community Cookbook, which reads, I immediately felt connected to this community kitchen, it is a place for women to laugh, grieve, cry and cook together. Melding cultural identities under a shared roof, it creates a space to feel a sense of normalcy, in its simplest form the universal need to connect, nurture, and commune through food, through crisis or joy, something we can all relate to. Through this charitable endeavor, the proceeds will allow the kitchen to thrive and keep the global spirit of community alive. Meghan Markle's mum, Dory Ragland was spotted at Los Angeles International Airport looking set to embark on a secret trip sparking speculation she was on her way to visit the Duchess. Mice Ragland was seen being helped with her suitcase by an airport assistant at the busy U.S. airfield. In a snap obtained by American news website Inside Edition, the mother of the Duchess of Sussex was spotted wearing a loose white shirt, trainers and comfortable trousers the perfect outfit for a long flight. And. Wherever her destination was, the two big bags she was carrying on top of the luggage led to think she is set to remain abroad for a while. The picture emerged on Monday at 5 p.m. BST, 9 a.m. local time, with Mies Ragland standing in the check-in area for an RNZ flight. The photograph sent royal watchers into a frenzy, with some arguing Mies Ragland was headed to London to spend time with her loving daughter. If confirmed, 
This trip would be significant, fueling rumors Meghan's mum is looking to move permanently to the UK to live closer to her daughter and her new royal family. A close friend of Mys Ragland and Elia had previously said, she is getting ready to move to London. I think she will be going as soon as possible. I know that she was eager to live closer to her daughter. She hasn't been staying at her house for a while now. She has only visited the house very occasionally and when she is there she has had a security guard with her. He has been with her since about November. She is fiercely loyal to Meghan and would never betray her like the rest of them. They are so close. She also fell in love with England and told me when she got back that it's somewhere she believes she too could happily live. Mys Ragland was the only member of Meghan's family to attend her royal wedding on May 19. But other royal fans believe Mys Ragland was going to New Zealand just days before Meghan and Prince Harry kick-start their first-ever royal tour as a married couple across New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga and Australia. The Duchess, who in the past months has demonstrated her commitment to carry out at the best all her royal engagements, will prepare for her long-distance trip by attending on September 25th in London the opening of a Royal Academy exhibition called Ashina. There, Meghan will have the chance to see 200 public and private artworks linked to Captain James Cook's first voyage to the Pacific between 1768 and 1771. Kensington Palace announced on Twitter earlier today, the Duchess of Sussex will attend the opening of Oceania at Et Royal Academy on Tuesday, 25 September. The Duchess will view exhibits from regions including New Zealand, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and Australia, which she and the Duke of Sussex will visit in October. Sharpra Oceania Meghan Markle helped whip up a feast for the launch of her charity cookbook dedicated to Grenfell of victims as with her mother, Dory Ragland, making a surprise appearance to support her daughter. Meghan was pictured cooking and mingling with guests today, during the launch of the Together Cookbook at Kensington Palace, her first royal project to help the Hub Community Kitchen. In her first royal speech, the Duchess of Sussex told guests, Working on this project for the past nine months has been a tremendous labor of love. The Duchess, who has been privately visiting the cooks, added, I had just recently moved to London and I felt so immediately embraced by the women in the kitchen your warmth, your kindness and also to be able to be in this city and to see in this one small room how multicultural it was. On a personal level, I feel so proud to live in a city that can have so much diversity. That's 12 countries represented in this one group of women is pretty outstanding. Meghan's mother, Doria, delighted guests today when she made a surprise attendance at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's cookbook launch. Doria, who introduced herself as Meg's mum, was pictured speaking to guests as she stood by her daughter's side. The Duchess of Sussex has backed the cookbook, dedicated to raising funds for her community kitchen, run by Grenfell victims. The book, titled It Together, Our Community Cookbook was created by women volunteering at a local kitchen to provide food for those who lost their homes during the Grenfell fire. The idea for the book came from the Duchess after she was told, during her first private trip to the Hub Community Kitchen in North Kensington, the facilities were only open two days a week because of a lack of funds. Doria joined a heartfelt outdoor reception, with Meghan and her son in La Harry and the Grenfell Community Group, to launch the new cookbook. Meghan looked stunning in a black tix top and matching black skirt by Mission Anu, topping her look off with a royal blue coat by Smythe. Meghan put her culinary skills to the test, helping the women cook and prepare dishes, before Doria, the royals and the Grenfell Community Group feast on an array of dishes. The Together Cookbook is inspired by dishes from the Middle East, North Africa and Europe and will include mouth-watering recipes such as coconut chicken curry, aubergine masala and caramelized plum cake. This is Doria's first royal event since she attended the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding on 19 May. Meghan also had a special part to play in the book and spoke about how she connected with members of the Hub Community Kitchen. 
Her foreword in the book reads, I immediately felt connected to this community kitchen, it is a place for women to laugh, grieve, cry and cook together. Melding cultural identities under a shared roof, it creates a space to feel a sense of normalcy in its simplest form. The universal need to connect, nurture and commune through food, through crisis or joy something we can all relate to. Through this charitable endeavor, the proceeds will allow the kitchen to thrive and keep the global spirit of community alive. All efforts from the book sales will go to helping the kitchen, located at Al Mana Muslim Cultural Heritage Center. Megan first visited the Hub Community Kitchen in January, and was so moved by the victim's stories she vowed to continue helping and learning about their work. She helped put the group in touch with the publisher, and the Royal Foundation provided assistance with legal and administrative fees. Women from the Hub Community Kitchen decided to open a local kitchen after the 2017 Grenfell Fire, to provide food for victims and create a network of support. Megan's close friend, Serena Williams, praised the Duchess Project with a heartfelt message on Twitter. She wrote, I used to call you Megan, and I still do, but dear Duchess of Sussex your first project together a cookbook bringing women of all cultures together. I could not be more excited about it and proud of you. It's beautiful diversity, inclusivity, coming together in grief or joy. The money raised by the Together Cookbook will be monitored by the Royal Foundation, which Meghan, Prince Harry and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are patrons of. Together, our community cookbook will be available at Waterstones for £9.99.